Here's a Conar AM radio from probably the late 1960s. And a look at this. Looks like just an ordinary, ugly, plain Jane radio from the 60s, which it really is, but there is something to this radio. This was actually a kit radio that I believe was provided along with a correspondence course through National Radio Institute on how to how to repair radio and television sets and and this radio was a kit radio that went along with that course. See on the back of the set it has an interlock just like a tube radio from that era and it even has a warning on the back that State something to the effect of to service tubes, remove back cover completely. Well, that's all fine and good, but this is not a tube radio. It's 100% solid state. I guess they made a tube version of this set, and when they transitioned over to a solid state chassis, they still had a bunch of cabinets left over, so they just used up the old cabinets with the solid state chassis. Now this radio does not work. It's basically dead. And generally with these kit radios, nine times out of ten when they don't work, it's either due to a bad solder connection or someone installed a part incorrectly. That may or may not be the case here, but let's open this up and see what the inside looks like. Okay, here's the inside of the radio. As you can see, it uses a nice size printed circuit board chassis with a nice long ferrite bar antenna. And this is also a transformerless hot chassis set. They use high voltage on the output stage and then they use a resistor to drop that voltage down to a lower voltage for the RF and IF stages. This is your audio output transformer. And this is your variable tuning capacitor. And here's the underside of the board. And I suspect that probably what's wrong with this radio is these old electrolytic capacitors that are probably dried out by now. I've ran into that a lot with these older solid state radios. The capacitors usually just dry up and lose their capacitance and it, you might as well just not even have one in the circuit so therefore the radio doesn't function properly. So that's going to be the first thing I do is get these old bad electrolytic capacitors out of here and then if it still doesn't work I'll take some voltage measurements and try to find out what the trouble is. Okay, I replaced all the capacitors, as you can see there, and that got us back in business, sort of. It's kind of weak. That's on our station, or on my station, that is. From coast to coast and border to border. Okay, get ready to turn over, because it's time to turn over for the sun time. I'll, get, I'll, I'll be my uh, 1960s, 70s DJ. Oh, no, do I have to talk like this all the time? Trade journals, other several award-winning books on privacy. Ignorance non-stop. That's how you get your voice that low. The worst voice in radio. Although the performance is really not great, that's... The best summer songs of all time. I'd love to hear yours. The phone number here, one eight hundred. Put my hand on the talk. antenna. One eight hundred. And it comes in very five, well. Five, five, we'll get with you. More of your songs. Also, Debbie Lee coming up. <sighs> so I wouldn't be a bit surprised if there's not an alignment issue here. Right Don't you dare go anywhere at this. And look around. Five miles away. Here's the chassis after the recap. 
and at some point in time this radio was in an accident as you can see by the broken cabinet and the piece I found laying inside the cabinet and looking at the underside of the circuit board you can see where a big corner of the board got broken off at some point and was glued back looks like the corner where the output transformer is mounted so stands to reason that a heavy component like that would be where the board would fracture. His name for this is Elvis was King Kong. Come on, King Kong. Taking out more. This is just a five transistor radio. Okay, what happened to it? Okay. Go. There's a sudden light in the mercury. There's a something in my heart that just hit. Hey, when was the last time you heard that song? A question of temperature, the balloon farm. Okay, I'm just going to tweak this. RF section here and see if it gets any better. Okay, that helped a little bit, but I think this radio may be from 1970. Looking at these old Mallory caps. Turn this on and we'll magnify them so you can see the numbers on them. Mallory 100 microfarad 10 volts. Okay, that doesn't have the date code that I was looking for on it. Okay, here's another capacitor. Ten microfarad, ten volts. Two thirty-five dash seven zero zero four. So I take that to mean either fourth week of nineteen seventy or fourth month of nineteen seventy. Anybody have any information regarding that? I would love to hear from you. But being a five transistor circuit, this might not have ever been the best performing radio on the block. Of course, there were also some four transistor table model radios made. I know Zenith made some. Well, better get off that. The copyright police won't like it. Solutions. Fans will receive advice for discussing serious. Let's see what else is on here. Okay, there you go, the Conar NRI kit radio from the late 60s, early 70s. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it.